Good evening, everybody. It's Racer 294 here. Thought I'd bring you along for some uh, daily race A action. So we got in uh, a pretty good qualifier, and we figured we'd give it a shot. Uh, let's see. Right into the action. Uh, our qualifying time was a 112.288, which was good enough for second place in the race start here. So, jumping right in, we continue to give ourselves a good uh, start, trying to give this guy enough room. Tequila Boy, uh, he's a little, uh, he's a little firm with his, uh, with his position, which is fair, it's fair. Uh, we get to that SR down because he tapped into us on the outside, on the outside, so we get an SR down. Press forward. So we're uh, haven't been uh, doing a lot of daily races, a lot of uh, league stuff, and a little contact there. So we figured we'd give ourselves a run at the qualifying time here, uh, and then change out our pedals. We just got new Fanatec uh, load cell we wanted to put on. So we uh, figured we'd give ourselves a qualifying time in this race because we know the race and we're pretty comfortable with this car. And then swap out to the load cell and see how it goes. Uh, uh, I've been running Fan Attack for a couple weeks now and it's working really, really well. Uh, but, uh, we'll let you in on the race. So this is a uh, Sakuba uh, Japanese track. AE86 variants, uh, the Toyota Corolla, the Toronto, and the Levin, or Levine, I guess it's the Levin, and the Toruno. So, uh, it's a pretty neat little car, rear wheel drive. Uh, the boxer motor, I believe, four cylinder flat four. So uh, we are we've got a five lap race and pretty much we're bring this little thing's neck out. So we don't run any traction control on this car at zero. Uh, brake balance for me is at four to the rear. So it helps uh, stable the car going into the turns. Dives a lot. So we uh, set a fastest lap there. Tequila Boy is uh, running a pretty good race. Very quick guy. He's got my qualifying time by maybe a hundred or so. so. A couple other people in this race I kind of recognize. Uh, so, uh, Ricky Likey, I've raced against him. He's a pretty decent guy. Um, a couple of the others maybe I recognize. There's one and other Brazilian that's in here. Not on the screen right now. I want to say he started at six, and it's uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. It's a bunch of really long. Uh, he's he's very uh, questionable race craft. Uh, tends to like people likes people's rear end uh, bumpers as a brake marker. So uh, we'll see that later. So this is the first race. Really, pretty anxious going in. Uh, again, I haven't done a lot of daily races, uh, but uh, we felt real confident in time, at least, to give ourselves a good starting position. And that's the key to a race. It's a, it's a key with any race, really. You can get as good a qualifier as you can, unless you just want to do a last to first challenge like a YouTuber would do on a stream. But um, if you can set the best qualifier that you can set and then give yourself a good starting position and you know, race race array. You can put in as many races as you can. And that's what I usually do with the uh, races at Sakuba and the N100s and 200 cars. I feel real confident with them. Um, but uh, this race is going pretty well. Uh, 
It's trying to shake the draft here, which is a good thing to do, but kind of pointless. You know, I'm just going to follow him. Uh, but that could mess up. <laughs> you could mess up and miss your break marker or put yourself out of position. race is a lot like most of the N uh, series races with your uh, brake markers are very similar, turn in points are very similar, a lot of times you're going to shift very similar, uh, first gear is useless, I don't know how many gears this car has, whether it's just four or five, I think it's four, but you're going to use a lot of third gear, a little bit of second gear, and a little bit of fourth gear. a little bit, get the car to turn, and I, I did quite a bit, quite, quite a few qualifying laps, I probably put in 30 laps qualifying, and I kept, kept not, you know, whittling down that time, qualifying time, so that can hurt you when you come into racing, or a race, that you, uh, your, your lines might not be the same, it might not, uh, that might pro you know, provide too much of an opportunity for somebody behind you. Uh, if you go too wide uh, into a turn, they can slip it up to the inside. So, well, that was a good, that was a good, uh, good start. Second place, no penalties, um, except for that SR down. I would say we got uh, plated number seven, which is kind of surprising. There were a couple B, quite you know, it was like three or four B-rated drivers in here, and I was A. I have a 1A plus driver and an S rated driver. I think the Tequila Boy's an S rated driver. And uh, so we didn't do too bad on the points. Got a few points. Uh, raised our DR up. So again, we were sitting about 30, 35,600 or so. I think after this one, actually 34,000 maybe. So on to the second race. There's Tequila Boy, myself, again in second place. This time we're going to use the. 11 just because it's the same car red so there's the guy in, guy in position uh starting position fourth uh malver something from brazil we got uh, a lot of our neighbors from the south of this race so. and we got our second position which is a good place to start Tried to do the same thing. Let's just try to eke out a good lead with this guy. Just try to pass him if we can. Now, the first race, uh, I raced with Tequila Boy. He was uh, a little firm, but fair. So, uh, now this time, uh, I'm being a little bit more aggressive, but he's also being a little. tap from our friend in, uh, in third position. He punted me past Tequila Boy. And I think, I th I'm thinking Tequila Boy might think that I ran into the back of him. So I'm going to tell him at the end of the race that, you know, I got, I got punted into you. I, I, of course, I'm not going to give the position back because I didn't do anything wrong, but um, I will apologize. At least I won't apologize. I'll let him know that I didn't intentionally hit him. So, but all to the race. Let's, let's, try, to, let's try to win this thing. as possible. Oh, I'll see you all there. So now you don't uh, don't want to look in your rear view mirror, don't want to look at your radar. Just put in your uh, put in your laps. I mean you can look at your radar but uh, you don't have a, a lot you can do. Take some more defensive lines. I started practice that in the warm ups. I started practicing running my defensive lines uh, to give myself a better uh, understanding of what the car's going to do if you're a lot you know, closer to the apex. So I also did some starts. I practiced a start of probably five or six times. I started it from second position and 
first position uh, just to try to get an idea where I need to break because you're going into the first turn with a different speed um, uh, and with a lot of people around you so you need to know where you need to turn and where you need to break break or you're going to break later so that you don't get rear-ended so, so Tequila Boy he's right on me just trying to uh, get put in those laps break him out we're also anxious, I am, but definitely, uh, you know, when I get when I get in the lead, um, and I know I'm, I've got somebody who's equal. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fast guy, Tequila Boy. He's a, he's a fast driver and smooth. Um, uh, I'm just going to try to park it on the apex, getting the you know, kill his drive coming out of the apex, and try to run away. Uh, it's kind of this slinky effect. But, uh, so he's 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 running. A good race though. He's not diving in. He's not diving into tiny little openings like on that last turn. Some guys are just stuffing up in there, and uh, he's again, he's not diving. He's not diving on the inside. I'm running a defensive line, but there's an opening. There's an opening there for an aggressive driver. But he's not aggressive. He's, uh, he's he's trying to do what I'm was trying to do, just run away, just get away from third place, and settle it, you know, on the last lap. So I'm make a mistake here. He's got the inside, but I've got, now I've got the inside, so I'm safe. And he's, uh, anyway, he's a good driver, but I'm really giving him a lot of, give him a lot of credit. He, he was not forceful at all, so. Now, pay attention to the mirror and watch uh, the guy in third with this one. So we're coming up to the final lap. <laughs> Watch the mirror uh, and watch what happens. So again, we're uh, out. Good life for that. Uh, four, almost four tenths in the lead. And we're uh, not going to get any fastest laps because we're in the lead. You know, usually get fast laps when you're in the lead. People behind you, you don't get the draft. So there's the first. The first murdering going on behind us, so, uh, Melissa, 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 <laughs> call him, uh, Dr. Doom, he's, yeah, there he goes, he's just going ahead and knock me off, too, he's, he, he didn't like me in the lead, you know, he's, he got tired of being in third, so he's like, ah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna knock you off, buddy, you don't need to be there, and I knew it was gonna happen, I, I so knew it was gonna happen, it just, it irritates me just so no extent. Which really irritates me. So I'm going to go defensive. I got another guy behind me, and he's going to. I'm so angry right now. So, so the guy that was in first place, he got punted too. Uh, I wasn't going to let him pass. I, that was. I, I, I was so so angry at that guy that's in fourth now, that he smashed his way into second, and then smashed his way past me into third, and then, uh, it's whoever the other guy was that dove on the inside of me and smashed everybody off, uh, uh very, <laughs> that, that race really, that really got to me, really, <laughs> so, wow, uh, third place, played at number five, so, we still got some positive points, but we should have had a win. Um, so uh, some douchebaggery. Um, and again, I, I told him in the pre-race karma because of what he did before. <laughs> so going into the next race, he, you know, I I wrote karma on the pre-race and he's he's just oblivious to what he's what he's doing it's like he doesn't have any idea so we get him again he's in second place we're in first place so um he also has got the worst internet in the world he's got no signal it's gonna lag all over the place so good launch again attraction control 
just hammer the gas and go. So we're gonna got our radar on. Now his little trick, and I've noticed this, I've done a few races with this guy. His little trick is he'll just get right on your rear bumper and just give you the tiniest little tap and the turn one. And off you go, and he'll slip right inside of you and take the lead. That's his little, that's his little trick. And of course he's laggy as all get out, so who knows what. Every lobby that I've been in with that guy, uh, he um, has a reputation, and uh, I've pointed him out many a times as a dirty driver. And uh, at this point, uh, if if he does it to me again, I'm going to smash him into the shadow realm. It's about as hard as I can because uh, that he's that's a horrible driver. He's like a Brazilian. And I, uh, you know, like here, uh, he, he was going to take a he was going to take a sniff at the inside there, but I closed it off. So, you know, again, take his defensive lap. Look, look at that! I, I, it's it's astonishing to me that you know he's just going to dive into my bumper. I'm taking a defensive line, and instead of Taking the outside, he's gonna just dive right to my right to my rear bumper, and and now I'm starting to drive. I'm starting to rear view mirror drive. I'm looking at my rear view mirror more than I'm looking at the track because I know that at least maybe if I can catch him trying to dive, I can get out of the way and not have my race ruined. Because here we're we're starting on pole. Uh, we got the lead. So much chaos going on behind us, but he's still in second place. So we got uh, Turismo Daddy V33K and uh, Mocha, Mocha Drone XM, I think. So again, just okay, okay, racer, just race. Do what you can, race. Shift interval because this is a, a true manual transmission. You got a long gap between your uh, clutch engagement and your shift and your clutch disengagement. So, so got a little little love tap from him there. Uh, he's ridiculously laggy. He has no signal. No signal strength. I tried to lift, lift and shift, and it didn't seem to work very well. Uh, I didn't notice much of an improvement. Um, it's, a, it's a skill you kind of practice. Some cars uh, prefer lift and shift, but uh, I don't know. I, I can't do it. All right, two more laps. Okay, we're going to go defensive. Let's see what he does. Uh, who knows what he's doing? He's, he's, he's inside of us. He's outside of us. Somehow, miraculously, I, I didn't get punted off. I, I don't know how, but he, he actually think he meant to punt me off, uh, but he lagged and he got kind of ghosted. So uh, he, he was going to punt me off. He was going to do his little trick where he taps, taps your rear end and didn't hit you enough to knock you all the way off, just enough to get you out of the way. So he's, he's the worst kind of dirty driver there really is. He's just kind of just gives you that little little suggestion uh, of a bump that gets you out of the way. So. Alright, let's end of this lap. So we've got we've got a second lead. It's pretty pretty good lead there, so just again just do the things we always talk about is hit your brake mark, make your turn in points, uh, ease off the 
ease off the brakes, trail brake, a lot of stuff going on in the back. Don't look at the rear view mirror. Um, well, you can look at it now, but this is a replay, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting ready to kick off soon. But not for us. I mean, we're pretty safe. Up, up, there it goes. Ooh, and away he goes into the shadow realm. Drama is not done in the back, and yeah, I, I this is my share replay, so it's just just my perspective. I didn't uh, do the cinematic. Uh, maybe I'll do the broadcast uh, replay and I'll post that up. So there we got two and a half second lead going into the final turn here. So um, a lot of carnage just happened on the. Uh, second to last turn, a hairpin. But we don't know anything about it. All we know is we're going to cruise to a very stressful victory. Uh, uh, anxiety, uh, stress, and now elation. We, we actually won. It's been a while since we won a race here in sport mode. Uh, this is our 41st win. I think about three months ago, I had a win. And I want to say it was at this track in the uh, Mazda Touring. So, um, but yeah, the, the, uh, the post-race chat gets pretty spicy, and I don't think I, I don't think I kept it. But uh, there's a uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, debate going on about who was dirty and who was not dirty. But um, but our buddy uh, Malver sack of crap, he. He ends up second to last, so that's good. So there we go. There's our victory. Yay. So, well, thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, hope it was entertaining. And uh, if you liked it, hit the like button.